Hi, this is George Cow, coming to you from Niagara Falls on the Canada side. I love Canada. Um, haven't been here very much, but when I am, I, I, I love the, the scenery and the people. Um, I want to talk with you today about the two paths that I have experienced for success. The, and I'll give a quick overview and I'll go into a little bit more into each one. Uh, the first path is one of being calculating and persuasive. So those are the, the two key words to the first path, calculating and persuasive. The second path is generosity, being generous and organized. So um, I'll say, and I've experienced both of these paths, um, basically in chronological order. <laughs> I, uh, for the first four years of my business, I would say that I was, I was very calculating and I relied a lot on my persuasiveness skills. And uh, calculating means I'm, I was always looking at how, how can this person be useful for me? If they contacting me randomly, are they, um, are they going to be an influencer who can spread my message to lots of other people? Are they a joint venture partner? Are they a potential client? If not, then I'm not going to give them the time of day. You know, if they're not useful to me, why, why should I give them any of my attention and energy and help, right? And that's calculating. And also calculating means when you're approached with an opportunity, a, a way to serve and help, you're always asking, well, is this going to benefit my, my bottom line uh, more than I put, I, I give out? Or, is, you know, is it going to give me more fame and um, influence than, than I give? Right, and that's the calculating uh, part of it. The persuasion part is, you know, no matter whether someone really, really needs or wants my service, I'm going to use my persuasion skills to try to get them to buy. So it's more about getting people to buy than really, really seeing if they really need my thing, and if not, what can I refer them to? So um, the, the the this path is. Uh, there's a common saying, you know, W-I-I-F-M, right? What's in it for me? What's in it for me? And so many business and marketing coaches are encouraging their clients to always be asking, well, uh, you know, when you write to your audience, always be saying, what's in it for me? And I, I no longer believe that because I think that um, how we market does strengthen or deplete certain values in society. So we're always trying to think about well, what's in it for me and our audience is always thinking what's in it for me it's going to strengthen that kind of selfishness and and greed and fear um, so let me tell you a bit about the other path which I am experiencing now and am so grateful to have uh, have discovered and and experienced myself which is the path of really aiming to be generous and organized okay so this is important I know some of you are already very generous um, but you could probably use some help in the, in the being organized realm uh, in terms of being organized with your time uh, and also being organized with your information. But truly, when you are both generous and organized, you can change the world, uh, you can help tons of people and still be sustainable uh, and, you know, to, to yourself and to your energy, to respectful of your own boundaries, right? So generous means that when someone comes to me, uh, I don't ask how can they be useful for me. I ask how can I serve in a way that, I, you know, if I have a few minutes right now, how can I serve? Um, I look at the longest term picture in terms of giving and karma rather than, uh, but anyway, I'm running out of time. Organization, time management, information organization. I'll probably talk about that in another video, but anyway, signing off. Always welcome your comments and questions. This is George Cow. Take care.